this is Tom from RR Cats, and we want to go over one way to identify your GM cats. Now there are multiple ways, but today we're going to spotlight using different types of abrasives, whether it's steel wool, spray paint, or grease, to try to figure out how you can read that number a little clearer. Now when you look at some of the GMs, while it says Delphi, that doesn't mean anything. What you're looking for is this number here. They don't always say GM on them. Sometimes you can go and you can take that steel wool to make it a little more legible for yourself to read. We always recommend using gloves, this way you're not getting any of this dirt or dust onto your hands, especially when it was on the bottom of cars. Now let's say that that didn't work. You could always take a little spray paint. Spray it on there, take a paper towel, wipe it real quick and what we like about this method a little bit of that paint is left inside and you'll be able to see a before and after picture from before now look at this I'll take a little steel wool once you get that paint removed it's just a little harder to read it a third way that you could use it is by using a little grease get a little grease on your hand or even a little oil and you rub it on there and what it does is it leaves a little bit of the dirt and grime away. You take another paper towel, start to wipe away a little bit, and it makes it a little shiny. So when once you get the light shining on it the right way, it shines off a little bit. Our favorite way is using the spray paint and the steel wool, but you don't always have those tools with you wherever you are. So this is another way, another tip on how you can identify your GM catalytic converters. Once you have that serial number, send it over to us as well as a couple of pictures from each side and both sides, the top and the bottom, and we'll get you a quote as quick as we can. This is Tom from rrcats.com and until next time, I'll scrap you later.